Today I worked on a circuit for one of my friends. He wants to make a, a helmet that has flashing lights and he wanted at first just to make it so the eyes light up and have a switch inside and I was like, I can do a lot better than that. So I've been working on making a circuit and I hope the white balance fixes. But anyway, it's got, I don't know if anybody here knows electronics, but it's got an input, it's got a battery, 12 volt source, and it goes to uh, some operational amplifiers, and then it's got some, let's see if you can see them, resistors and capacitors, and it's got a variable resistor here to uh, make adjustments. Uh, this resistor and capacitor combination here makes a filter for specific frequencies, so I don't know if you can tell where this is going, but certain frequencies will go through this operational amplifier and be outputted to this IC over here, and then there's another one here and another one there. And they each go to their own integrated circuits on that side, and uh, basically what it will do is take an audio source and make a three-band uh, spectrum analyzer with LEDs so as you hit like the high frequencies here it'll uh, output a voltage to this and based on how much voltage there is it will light up either one LED, two, three, four, or five it'll send an output to the pins and then this one for the mid frequencies will output on these pins and then for the low frequencies over here so, that's the schematic, and I'm working on laying it out on an actual circuit board. These are where all the components will go. This is the audio input source, the battery. These are all capacitors and uh, resistors. This is the quad op amp IC. These three are the, um, the VU meter integrated circuits, and then these are the LEDs up here, but I'm probably not going to put LEDs on the board, I'm just going to put uh, pinouts that you can connect the ICs or the LEDs to. So, since I've set up this schematic, it's kind of cool. I can go over to this side and I can uh, highlight net connections. So if I click on the, uh, the audio input, see it turn blue? So, oh, there we go. This audio input, or this trace, this pad has to connect to there, and that's uh, that's the only one. So you can like draw out circuit boards. That one goes to there. Those three get connected, and then you know you can see how things. Like all the blue pads have to be connected whenever I uh, select one. So it kind of helps you lay out your circuit. And this is a, a program provided by a company. And what you can actually do is design your circuit board here and then send them off to design. And they will print you a circuit board and mail it back to you. So that's really cool. So I'm going to try and design the circuit board, order the components, and actually build the thing and see if it works. And if it does, it'll be in a future video. So it's about 4 a.m. on the 10th, so I'm uh, still recording today's video for tomorrow, but whatever. This is what I've got so far. Well, not blank. I'll show you one layer at a time. So basically the silk screen that goes on the board looks like that. So that's all of my components. I have my signal and power coming in here. And then I have three uh, six-pin Molex connectors as the output. <clears throat> and then these are the uh, three filters. And then that's the thing that controls the lights. There's one, two, and three of those. So that's what the board looks like. That's where the components go. That's the top of the circuit board. It's got a few traces 
And then this is the uh, the power side. So all these little circles, like there, is a component there that needs power. If I overlay the components, you can see like I've got my resistor there. That's connected to power. This capacitor is connected to power on this pin. And, you know, everything else. Here's the main power input. So there's power there. This one's not connected. Not to the power side, anyway. So anyway, that's the top of the circuit board. And this is the bottom of the circuit board. It's a little more complicated. I did most of my wiring on the bottom. And there it is with the components overlaid, and there's with the top visible. So that's, well, where's it going? Stay up there. So that's my circuit board. It's kind of complicated, but hopefully it works.